We're here with Chef Eddie from Apollonia Grill. Thank Welcome. You. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And what are we making? Today we'll be doing a uh, salt crusted uh, whole fish. Uh, for this fish, I've chosen a Branzino or a Mediterranean sea bass. Mm. Uh, but you guys could use anything you like, and I'm going to get going here uh, to trim it. Um, you could use a snapper, or you can even use um, a grouper, you know, which is uh, local water. All right, when you right say here. trim it, let's see it. Uh, yeah, we're going to give it a little haircut. But before <laughs> <laughs> before we begin, uh, we got some egg whites in here that Linda's going to help me. Uh, we're going to beat these egg whites, and I'm going to throw them in that little bowl over there. All right, and here we go. Thank you, yeah. Linda. Look out. While Linda gonna... does that, we're going to get some uh, <laughs> lemon move. zest going over there, and then we'll get uh, it's trimming on the fish. So we're trying to basically trim the fish from the fins. Obviously, you don't want to eat those. Um, you could have your, um, uh, your the store or the fishmonger, wherever you purchase the fish, have them clean it out. Obviously, the scales, the, the, the gills, they need to be cleaned out because uh, it's just less work. Okay. Um, and, you know, for me, even at the restaurant, you know, so much easier to work at the restaurant in a commercial setting, kitchen, than, you know, at home. Um, or otherwise, you'll be cleaning scales off your kitchen walls for two <laughs> oh, nice. weeks. Yeah, right? <laughs> so, so basically, I'm just trimming the fins right there, and we're pretty much that's almost done. Yeah. So and that's then it. once that's done, what's next? Uh, I need your help. Grab me some lemon slices, oh. and then use your uh, use fresh herbs, whatever you like. Rosemary works really well. Thyme works very good. Uh, you could do some fennel uh, uh, as well too, or even dill. So whatever you prefer. All right. So uh, for today, I've chosen some thymes and uh, oregano and some rosemary. Oh, and so you stuff it you inside. Just put them right in so there. we're gonna stuff them in the cavity. It, it's gonna help, you know, bring some aroma of those herbs to the fish, and it's this just wonderful. This may be a bit much. I'm yeah, not, a little bit more than. I'm not oh, sure how much I need it. It's, yeah, it's, it's no like problem. It's like foie gras of fish. <laughs> there you go. So pretty much our fish is dressed and ready to go in the oven, so we're going to check on our mixture here. So the egg whites are, uh, are done. So that's what you're looking for. You're looking for a little bit foamy and just mix them well. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have some salt. You want to use about one pound of salt for every pound of fish. What? So it is a lot of salt. Yeah. But it's salt. Does it is it salt. be salty? No, it is not. Um, it might look like it's you know crazy amount of salt, but yeah. the skin mm -hmm. protects the fish from getting salty. Oh. So and then we're just going to add some rosemary. And thank you for your help for the lemon zest there. We you got guys some did time. A good job. I know. And then we're just going to mix this where it becomes like a wet sand or like snow like. For us Floridian, That's we don't what we know what snow was. looks <laughs> like, but <laughs> wet sand, sand like yeah. Right. <laughs> so. Then we thought about it and we're like, you can't have snow in the kitchen. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> and so this technique works with other fish you were saying as well. If it we don't does. Have sea bass. If you don't have sea bass, you can get snapper or any kind of fish. You want to keep it, you know, one pound to a pound and a half. Uh, usually for uh, a rule is for every pound of fish, about 10 minutes in the oven. Oh, okay. so but it's got to have its skin on if you're going to put that much salt well, on. Well, yeah, that's the idea because smaller fish like one pound or one and a half pound fish are difficult to fillet. So you want to cook it whole. And then what do you do from that point? Because I know when you have a few minutes left. So you pack it on here? So what we're going to do is we got a baking sheet and then we're just going to start with making a little bed where the fish is going to lay on. Okay. Make sure you pack it tightly and if the, the, the I was going to call it sand, but if the salt <laughs> is dry, you can add a little bit of water to it and then, um, you know, just to get that consistency while it sticks. All right, so we're just going to skip ahead just a little bit, Chef Eddie, and show okay. after you, you're going to put it in the oven? Yes, yeah. we are going to put it in the oven. We do Magic have a, of TV, yes. there's one in there. We yeah. do have a finished product. It's very hot, so be careful. We actually did cook this here in our oh. kitchen. Oh, it smells right. delicious. Oh, wonderful. Well, as Look you're serving that, that up, I'm going to start saying our goodbyes. We're going to bring on in Frankie Paul, appearing at McCurdy's oh, this weekend. Come we on, have you guys. Andy Andy Morrison. Morrison. Hey, listen, this thing is hot. <laughs> very, very Andy hot. Morrison, whose documentary will be at Hollywood 20. And we have our cast from Little Shop of Horrors and come Manatee on, come Players. In, come on in. Rick, thank you for being <laughs> with you. us. And Chef wow. Eddie, we'll check you out. Ooh. We're seeing the big reveal Ooh. from Apollonia Grill. We want to say thank you. We will see you tomorrow. But don't forget, take some time and enjoy the Suncoast View.